Alexa, stop. Hey guys, how are we doing? Joel here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Before we start this today's unboxing, the first thing I want to do is say thank you to everybody who's been uh, watching my videos and subscribing. We are this close to 100 subscribers, and that's my first 100 subscribers. Um, I'm going to finally put my subscriber number on the subscriber button. You might notice in some of my videos when you click subscribe, there's no number next to it, and that's my personal preference that I've set because I want to wait till we got to 100. And we're this close, so I feel like if I ask you guys who are viewing this to subscribe, if you're not already a subscriber, and also don't forget to hit the bell notifications for the next videos, then please do it. Um, in the meantime, I just want to say a big shout out to some of the people that have been commenting, and that's Guy Donahue is one, Papa Smurfs another, Techno Squid, you've been commenting on a few of my videos. Uh, thank you for that, and I enjoy our little comments that you make. Um, Josh Hanekamp, uh, Fred Education, Vanessa C, Graham Smith, You Mad Bro No. Uh, Megan Rutter, um, who else? James Osmos, he was really nice last week. Uh, Headband TV, that was pretty cool. He said shout out to the UK, shout out to you, Headband TV. Uh, that is pretty. Oh, David Briscoe, but he's my dad, so that doesn't really count. Drone X Fun, uh, Dale D, I think that's Dale Diamond. He's actually in one of the videos, so that doesn't really count, I guess. Um, hello, Dale, anyway. Uh, Papa Smurf, obviously he's my cousin, but um, you should guys should check out some of his videos. He's starting to do a lot of Final Fantasy 15 um, walkthroughs and finding some of them really hard to get items in the side quest. So I would highly recommend if you play that game to check out some of his videos, and I'll put a link to his channel in the description too. But watch my video first, then watch his. Okay, today we have these the Recon 50P um, Ear Force. They are the Recommended headphones for PlayStation as you can see PS4 and the Xbox one PC they have stars on them And that's because they may or may not be compatible or you lose some functionality and um, they've got built-in uh, Microphone which is actually unpluggable so you can see that just there It's an unpluggable microphone, which is quite cool and um, over here 40 millimeter speakers um, And you've got a volume control with microphone as well They are definitely going to be better than the little crappy earpiece you get with the PlayStation 4 um, so I want to get straight into these and um, hang around as well because at some point during the um, video I'm going to be asking a question and the answer to that question I want you guys to comment on the description and in down below and whoever gets the right answer the I will be choosing you guys one of you guys at random to win a set of the Recon 50p headsets and in my video on a VR drone flight coming over the weekend I will be announcing the winner um, then in that video. Okay, so there straight away is the microphone. Uh, so now you guys can see a little bit of what I mean um, in terms of it is removable. So you might not wipe the microphone in it. Um, this is one of them bendy stiff wires. Um, actually not as stiff as I'd like, look at that. So I know you probably won't have it at an angle like that, but you're probably gonna want it at a right angle, maybe. I mean, when we plug it in, we'll see, but if that moves, that's going to be a bit annoying. But I'm interested to find out what the quality of this microphone is going to be like. I actually might plug it into the Osmo and see if it works. So the Osmo uh, doesn't have a built-in microphone. It has a very similar standard microphone. It's about this big, though, and it's crap. It picks up all the motor in twizzles and fizzles and cracks and tweaks um, in the gimbal. Um, so that's why I have the Rode mic. Not the Rode mic is like, infinitely better anyway. But this might be cool as like just a little... Substitute this might actually work. So I'm just going to quickly try this Okay, so I've just plugged in that microphone. Here is my normal microphone. It is now unplugged um, I don't know why it's got this on. It's not needed outside But hopefully you can hear me and this is the sound quality of the microphone compared to a very high quality studio microphone So it might not be brilliant, but the, the difference might be nearly non-noticeable and um, so hopefully that works if not I'm just going to be muted right now and you're going to be able to hear a word I say in which case, I'm going to switch back to this. Okay, so there we go. That's the microphone. And hopefully that was a good demonstration. Oh dear, I think I might have opened it upside down. Okay, silica gel. Love me some silica gel. I love stickers. I love free stickers. And Oh, that's cool. Really nice Turtle Beach logo. Um, I might put that on the back of my Mac, actually. Because I really do like the Turtle Beach gear. They've always been the gaming headset of choice for me. Um, mainly because of the convenience and the 
easy to they're, they're so ubiquitous in gaming stores and you kind of know what you're getting every time you can guarantee it's a good set and you can pick up a really decent pair just like the recon 50ps they're not the top of the line ones they are you know you can get them for like 40 quid i think but they're you know top 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 headphones or free if you keep watching and here they are so let's, let's see what they feel like what they feel like They feel a little bit plasticky, I'm not going to lie, they do feel a bit, sometimes you want a bit of quality feel, let's just compare it to, these are right here, the Beats, now obviously these are complete top of the line type headphones, it's got like a, like a, a dull thud to it, it's like a, a click tap, could be just the way the uh, headphones are designed as well, quite light though, a lot lighter, obviously that's not, these don't have batteries in. And they're very comfortable, I have to say. Quite nice big ear earpieces. So one of the things I do find with, let's use the Beats again as a comparison, um, because it's quite a small diameter speaker head, it actually hurts my ear. You know, the um, it's like the, you know, the, the arches of your ears, they're getting squished on your head all the time. That really hurts. These aren't actually squish squashing my ears against my head. Um, it's going over my ear completely, and they're kind of like nestling in a bit. I do have small ears, actually, I should say as well. I'm the exact opposite of President Obama. Nice feel of a wire, though. Good quality wire. That feels nice. So, mic on, mic off switch just located there. Um, I like that it's a switch, not a button. It feels a lot more sturdy, a lot more robust. Um, and a nice little volume wheel there. I think the best thing to do is to try them out. And why not? Let's compare them to the Beats wireless just in terms of sound quality oof loud they're very loud quite good actually i have to say the bass is quite decent it's got a bit of vibration to it you can probably hear how loud it is this is full volume oh my god ah! oh that's so loud oh so right volume not a problem <laughs> wow now, I'm assuming that these will be better, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. The real difference, no, straight away, is kind of the full bodiness of sound is what I'm getting here. I feel like I'm getting more of a range, and that's probably true in terms of the speaker quality themselves. So the bass is a lot deeper, a lot more powerful. Also noise, noise cancelling as well. Um, you get a lot more of that with that, but that's because of that squishiness, which I'm, as I said already, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I have to say though, for let's see now, 15% of the price that you'd pay for these brand new, headphones are headphones, at that 15%. Madness, right? You get what you pay for with quality with them. With these though, I think you get more than what you pay for in terms of aesthetics, really cool, smart blue. Um, they would be more comfortable for wear to wear for a longer period of time than I think the wireless Beats Solo 2s would be. And the mic, let's put that in. So I think the mic just goes here on the left. Okay, now let's see the adjustment of the microphone. I mean, you, you probably wouldn't want it in your mouth anyway, like this. You'd probably want it out there. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, I like the fact that you can move it quite easily and it seems to be staying. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Okay, enough stalling for time. Now it's time for you to try and win your own very pair of Recon 50p headset um, from Turtle Beach. Um, my question to you, it was a bit cheeky. There is no right or wrong answer. Well, in my opinion, there is, but it's up for it's a cause for debate. I want you to tell me across any platform, any console, whether that's PS2, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, the SNES, the Sega Mega Drive, the N64, whatever. What is your favorite either game or series of games? If you say a series of games, try and narrow it down to one, maybe two. For example, mine is Final Fantasy, but if I had to narrow it down, I would choose 10 and 10 2. I love them two games more than anything. That's why my PlayStation 2 is still there with the games in. I will never let that out of my sight, especially that memory card. I have put hundreds of hours into them two games and they are all saved on an eight megabyte memory card. <sighs> 
I need to make backups someday. I, I haven't, and I do need to do that. So yeah, you let me know your um, favorite games or game series. Let me know in the comments and subscribe. Or if you don't play games, just say, don't play games. You, could, you might play a game on your phone, though, even if you don't play games or you haven't played games ever. Let me know. Um, I'll go through and I'll choose a winner at random to win their very own Recon uh, 50p Turtle Beach headset. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out. Watch one of these videos or press this button here to subscribe. Whilst I find I haven't opened my advent calendar since the 2nd of December and it is now today. What day is it today? It is the 6th, so I've got four chocolates to eat. So whilst I'm doing this, you can just go ahead and subscribe and watch these videos down here. <laughs>